Approaching the thousand meter mark. The it may seem like winning a rowing championship is all down to skill. But the way a boat is rigged can also make a difference. Most of the time, rowers are placed in a left-right, left-right configuration. But it may not be the most efficient arrangement. The question is whether the force contribution from all the rowers cancels out uh, in a complete stroke. And it turns out that for the conventional rig, it doesn't. That there's a systematic wobble uh, of the boat from right to left uh, as each stroke is completed. And that's going to waste energy, something that the cox is going to have to steer against, uh, and it's going to slow you down compared to a boat where that doesn't exist. The perfect seating plan has been debated for decades. But using maths and physics, Barrow has come up with formations where the boat won't wobble. One of these arrangements was recently tested in London by the Imperial College Boat Club. We have different sorts of people judging the situation from quite different perspectives. Does it feel right for the crew? Uh, is it easy to plunge your oar into this type of water? Is it biomechanically optimal and so on? In reality, the rigs may behave differently from the mathematical predictions. They use ideal conditions and assume that all rowers are identical. Even so, Barrow still thinks that his modelling is not far off. I suspect what will happen is that you'll get the same type of configuration, but the answer for the zero wiggle won't be zero, but it'll be the smallest possible wiggle that you can have. Still much smaller than the conventional rig. At the last Summer Olympics in Beijing, the Canadian team won gold with an unconventional rig. Lighter rowers were placed at the front to lift the boat. It wasn't chosen for the maths, but the new analysis may inspire teams in the future. It seems that people assume the standard ring almost by default and never give any consideration to anything else. I mean, maybe it's too complicated, too expensive to explore or do the research. But I think the message is it's worth exploring for marginal advantage at the very highest level whether you could do better with one of these non-standard rigs uh, than with the conventional.